heard from a lot of people that Andrew was a really good trainer and when we got him he was a really big handful and uh, I was very very taken back by his energy and um, we had to find somebody to where we could go both together and both be able to learn something new and uh, we heard about the classes that he was doing with other dogs also so it was good because it gave us a little bit of interaction with other dogs and as well as one-on-one -on -one training. It was more of, you had some individual time instead of just being in a real big class where you really weren't getting much attention, so. Before canine obedience, Jake was pulling on the leash. Uh, he wasn't housebroken at all. He was just really wild. I mean, he just didn't have a attention span. Um, even when he said his name, he wasn't really looking at you and paying attention to anything really. Now he's He's very attentive. He, uh, he does, I can walk him <laughs> on a leash without being dragged around the block. I'm not embarrassed to take him somewhere, um, be going to the dog park. I don't have to be dragged across the parking lot now. And um, it's a good feeling, you know. And a lot of my friends have seen like how he was before <laughs> and now how he is. I was actually, I was embarrassed to even bring him into the class, to tell you the truth. Uh, he, he dragged David right through the door and uh, <laughs> right when that happened, we knew that we needed some help, and he walked him on a leash the day that we were in class. I mean, he was paying attention to him more than he had ever paid any attention to us, and uh, that was a really big, a big shock to me. We could go home and say, hey, look at this. <laughs> look what he can do, you know, and it's exciting for us.